1675, a group of 40 Native Americans from Cape Cod took their boats and came across to Nahant to raid Lynn, Massachusetts. They ended up here after they were chased out of Lynn. They were chased to the cliffs of Nahant. And here we are. Let's start our journey into Swallow Cave. <laughs> oh God! Woo! Sound like a retarded manatee. Huh? Sound like a retarded manatee in there. You gotta get out of there before they call the cops. Oh my God! Oh, you feel so good. They're gonna call the cops on you. <laughs> with the time, but uh, Bob, I want you to be really careful. Don't slip, okay? Um, and we'll head into the cave. And we're going to get up on here. Uh, woo! <laughs> oh, got your slipper there. Well, that ain't right. Nope. Uh, see, i got to get my footing. There's no easy way in here. Is there? Okay, listen, follow behind me, Bob, and uh, be careful of the other things in here. Yep. Um, okay. Grab my footing together here. You still rolling? I'm all set, yep. Good, don't shut it off. The cave is right in here, and uh, it's like a little slit here, and inside it opens up. It's quite expansive. And a story about a witch. I want to tell you about when we get inside here. Don't turn on the infrared. Let's see if we can do it without infrared because I want people to really see the inside of this building. Building cave. Same thing. There's glass everywhere. There's another part of the story that's extremely exciting, and that is about a witch named Wonderful, called Wonderful Witch or Witch Wonderful. And she actually worked with the settlers because the, uh, at one time a raiding party got trapped in here because the settlers knew where they were. And so Witch Wonderful came down and she decided to speak not only to the settlers, but to the American natives. And they reached an agreement, and the American natives were brought back to Cape Cod, safe and sound. Okay? The weird thing about this whole thing is two weeks later, which wonderful, predicted her own death. And she died, and she is buried on a bluff overlooking this cave because she brought safety and honor and respect to the Native Americans and the settlers here at that time. What I'd like to do is experiment here with paranormal activity, do a bit of research for you, and let's see if we can contact Witch Wonderful and some Native Americans. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see this, but we've got, look at this. We've got mussels here. Oh, you know what? You can steam these and put wine in them, everything. Steam them with wine, a little bit of butter. Oh, some chopped scallions. Oh, God, I love to cook. Especially when it's fresh and natural like that. 
There's also barnacles covering the entire wall. And there's little tidal pools. We'll come down and see if we can find a crab in a shell. Pools. I'm seeing if we can find a little crab with a shell. I don't really see any. None here. Mm -hmm. I don't see any at all. Okay, this is, if you can swing the camera slightly, the cave that they hid in. Oh, and you can see there's an opening and a heck of a lot of rocks this way, which are like next to impossible to climb to, uh, into. Yeah, it's pretty cliff like um, So what I'd like to do uh, is do a paranormal experiment, experiment to see if we can contact any spirits in here. I'm going to take some photographs first. Okay, I've got, I'm not sure if you can get this, Bob, but try to zoom in. It's like a face at the back. There it is, at the back of the cave. Now, now, now that's completely open. Uh, that's why I walk through. I walk right through there. Yeah. There's nothing there but an opening. Hmm. I, ju I just moved it over with the thing. But, um, wow. Okay, I'm going to take some more photographs then. Believe me, if I see something striking, I will show you right away. Nothing except for the face down there. <laughs> you definitely do not need flashlights. Bob, I'm going to hand you these flashlights if you can just put them behind you. Yeah. Great, thanks. Yep. Hasn't moved not even one iota. Not at all. No. You know, it's funny because I've been in caves before, this being my third one, and or, or granite situations with the granite rock, and it just seems to be, no pun intended, it seems like we are in a tomb. Absolutely nothing here. But the funny thing is, is we've used a ghost box before in a cave and actually got this AM signal. So I thought that was really weird. No, nothing at all. I'm going to go further in. I'm going to do some EVPs. 
Wow, you can feel that that wind just like coming in right off the ocean. You go about midpoint and spray. Everyone sees my white spray. You can get it on my website if you want. Uh, CCTunches.com on the store page. I use it to calm down the area and it seems to make everything cross like a level playing field. It really, really does. Native Americans have been using this for thousands of years to calm down areas, to promote healing. It smells good too. I come in peace. I want to communicate with you. I want to get to know you. I want you to talk to us. Come forward. Come forward and tell us about your stay here. Wonderful witch, come forward. We want to honor you. You are a strong woman for negotiating peace between the Native Americans in Cape Cod and the settlers here in the hot and wind Massachusetts. Please come forward. Amen. And do I want to heal this area? No, because I think which wonderful did it on her own years ago when she negotiated peace and an easy way to get the Native Americans back to Cape Cod. That woman was truly a wonderful woman. Are there any spirits here today? Can you come forward and say something? Make a sound, please. Absolutely nothing. Let's try again. It's not every day you call the dead forward, and you got to remember, for those of you first watching the show, an EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. Simple way of saying we're just trying to communicate with the dead. Can you see me? Which wonderful are you here? Please come forward. I want to thank you for the job you've done here. Can you see me? Did you hear? Yeah. Oh, I heard that. You know what? When I do EVPs, I like to let the recorder go for four or five seconds before I ask a question, and then I let it roll four or five seconds after I ask the last question. Because sometimes sounds and voices and noises are placed before the question. I want you to listen to this, and you're clearly going to hear a noise that's not conducive of a cave. I did ask them for a noise, a sound to make a noise, and they did. Listen to this. Now, I don't know if it was saying go or oh. What do you think it said? Tough to, tell. Tough let's, to say. Let, let's listen to it again. Oh, sorry. Huh. You gotta... Hmm, that's interesting. Wow. That is... That delete itself? The whole thing deleted both tracks. Huh. We'll have to listen to it in the playback. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> How did that happen? Wow. 
No, I heard it. Well, I have to listen There were still voices. Oh, I can hear them. Can you hear them? The, yep. the voices besides us? Yep. T take a listen to this, guys. It's not echoes either. The whole thing deleted both tracks. We'll have to listen to it in Were you talking, Bob? A little bit, but not much. Not that much. That's not you. No, I didn't talk that much. There's a guy's voice here. There's a man here. Okay, let's see if we can communicate with huh. him again. I know no one came. I yeah, no one's be, in here. Must be my imagination. I thought I saw a shadow go by. Are you here with us? There's a gentleman here with us because I just heard you on my recorder, on the device. Please come forward and please say something else to us. Can you do that? Make a sound. Make a noise. Anything. Tap on the rocks. Let's ask again. Let's get in another position if we can. These rocks are killing me. Let's see. I'd like to speak with you. Now, during the filming, you've heard them call my name. Do you know my name? Can you say my name? Okay, this is awesome. Now, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to play this for you. You're going to hear my name, see, see. Before I even ask the question, before I even start talking, you're going to hear my name. Here it is. I heard it. <laughs> you heard that? That's freaky. <laughs> That's yeah. freaky. I'm going to do it again. They know who we are because we were doing all the planning and talking and stuff. They know us. They knew we were coming. Here it is again. You're going to hear my name before I even start asking a question. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. my goodness. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, you know what? I didn't even listen to any of the rest of it. So, let's listen to the rest of that. See, see? Just a second, and I was. Oh, that's over. One more. One more. Are you happy that I'm here? Would you like me to leave? What do you want me to know about you? Did any of you die in this cave? Are you happy that I'm here? Would you like me to leave? What do you want me to know about you? Die in this cave. What 
do you want me to know about you? I heard screeching. A little whining, yeah. A little whining or a screeching. Yeah. I don't think it was a child, but I heard a whining or a screeching. Let me just play that back. See if you can hear that, too. Um, when I do review the findings, what I like to do is just to up the volume. I want to keep everything intact. I want you to see and hear it the way I do. Are you happy that I'm here? Would you like me to leave? have been used for thousands of years to detect water, gold, minerals, um, wires under the ground, and boundary lines, the iron rods that are in the ground. Also, they detect spirit energy as well. I'm going to try to call the spirits forward, especially that gentleman that seems so vocal and whoever's screeching like that. See if we can get them to move. Now, if they move all by themselves like this, that means absolutely nothing. But to get them to move on command, that is significant. That means you have an intelligent life force attached to the energy. Let's see if we can get them to move. To the Native Americans that were in this cave, and to which wonderful, if your spirit still lingers and remains here, can you please move the dowsing rods for me and move them now? Can you move the dowsing rods for me? exit. Can you point in the direction of the exit that you came in through? We've heard it was off of the cliff, which would be to my right, or via the land in the long way, which was to the left. Which way did you come here? Point in the direction that you came and exited to hide from the settlers. Bob, the, this, the same way that we, we came. Yeah, the same way. Yep. They're still moving. Look, one's not and the other one is. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, excellent. They're both starting to point that way. Yeah, they're both going. Yep, right out there. One last question. Are you happy I came here? I just wanted to thank you, which wonderful again. I want to tell the Native Americans I love you. And I'm glad you made it back to Cape Cod safely with her intervention. If you're happy I'm here, cross the thousand rods again. Thank you, thank you very, very much for coming forward. And thank you for sharing this exploration with us today. Now it's time to leave, and we're going to try to film some of it on the way out. Um, see you next time. Oh, that's a crab. I, oh, that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> no, I found a crab. Oh, hold on. Where's the little bugger?
I saw a little bugger in the Rochelle movie. Oh, so cool. Oh, come on. I just saw you. I just saw you. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Right away, there's a starfish over Ooh. there. Though. I'm zooming right in on it. There's a starfish. Look. Look at that. Is that a crab, though? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, and that's so cool. Look at this little crab. <laughs> and where's the starfish? Right next to, uh, to your right. In the crevice there. I don't see it. I see glass. To right. oh my nope. God. To your right, about a foot in front of your hand. Two feet in front of your hand. Keep going. More and more. Another half a foot ah. to the side. You see it? No. Oh, yes. There it is, right? Oh, my goodness gracious. Yep. Look. Starfish. Can you see that? Oh, and it's sucking all my fingers. Wow. Wow. That is wild. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Wow. Got to put him back. We don't want to. We don't want him to get hurt. Where exactly was he? Right here? Ah, uh, right about there, yeah. Right about In here? the water, though. In the water. Yep. Oh. Come on, get on. Get on the rock. Down the rock. Nice. There he is. Nice. Success. Awesome. 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 Let's <laughs> go. Oh, I know. Mm. You want to come in? Oh, no. It's cold. Water looks freezing. That is freezing looking. Oh, God. It feels so good. Oh, you sure you want to come in? I can't. It looks freezing. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Hey guys, let's go look at the evidence. I'm Bob the Cameraman. In this picture, right in the center of the cave, right in the middle, it looks like there's a face there. I'm not sure if you can get this, Bob, but try to zoom in. It's like a face at the back. There it is, at the back of the cave. Now, now, now that's completely open. Uh, that's where I walk through. I walk right through there. Yeah. There's nothing there but an opening. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it says, uh, you might want to take a listen to it, and then listen again because it happens quick. In fact, I'm going to listen to it again too. Before the press wants you to listen to this, and you're clearly going to hear a noise that's not conducive of a cave. I did ask them for a noise, a sound to make a noise, and they did. Listen to this. Now, I don't know if it was saying go or O. Oh. What do you think it said? When we went to review the EVP, we had found that there was no EVP. It had disappeared. Tough to, tell. Tough let's, to say. Let, let's listen to it again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we gotta... That's interesting. Wow. That is... Huh. Delete itself? The whole thing deleted both tracks. Huh. We'll have to listen to it in the playback. In the upcoming clip, listen closely. You're going to hear the spirit say Cece's name. You're going to hear my name. Here it is. Cece. I heard it. You heard that? That's freaky. That's yeah. freaky. In the clip you just watched, there happens to be another EVP. It says, Lucky You. I'm going to play these two clips in context for you. You'll clearly hear, CC, Lucky You. If you listen close enough on this one, it, it sounds like they're it sounds like they're screaming from another dimension and the voices are just breaking through are you happy that I'm here would you like me to leave Die in this cave. It's like screeching. 
The next bit of evidence that comes up, I didn't want to break it up. It uses a dowsing rod, so we're going to show it in its entirety. To the Native Americans that were in this cave, and to which wonderful, if your spirit still lingers and remains here, can you please move the dowsing rods for me, and move them now? Can you move the dowsing rods for me? I can feel them vibrating and warming up. Wow. Ooh. Which exit? Can you point in the direction of the exit that you came in through? We've heard it was off of the cliff, which would be to my right, or via the land in the long way, which was to the left. Which way did you come here? point in the direction that you came and exited to hide from the settlers. Bob, the, this is the same way that we, we came. Yeah, the same way. Yep. They're still moving. Look, one's not and the other one is. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, excellent. They're both starting to point that way. Yeah, they're both going. Right out there. One last question. Are you happy I came here? I just want to thank you, which wonderful again. I want to tell the Native Americans I love you. And I'm glad you made it back to Cape Cod safely with her intervention. If you're happy I'm here, Cross the dowsing rods again. It's so still. Thank you, thank you very, very much for coming forward. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm the voice announcer guy. If you want to watch more of Cece, just go to www.cecthehuntress.com and you can check her out. And, yeah, unlimited there. cecethehuntress.com Alright, see you next week. Bob.